guys, so today I'm going to be doing an April favourites video, yay! Um, so I'm just going to get right into it to be honest, so I don't do a long intro. So the first thing I really have been liking is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Now if you're in the market for uh, an eyebrow product and you want super defined brows, you know, you want to use a brush, you want to make a really uh, precise arch, I would definitely recommend something like this. Um, it comes in three colours I believe, light, medium and dark. Um, although medium is quite easy to find. I, I know I went to Target, they sell e.l.f. at Target and I couldn't see any other colour except medium which was good because I guess I'm a medium anyway. So here you get the wax and the powder on the other side and this is really really similar to uh, Benefits Browsings which is a lot, you know, very overpriced compared. And if you look they're pretty much the same product. So yeah, they're pretty similar to be honest and this one's like 20 something dollars and this one's free so definitely go for that. I really really like it. I checked out the brush you get with it because that's no good to me um, and I basically use this brush here which is a Stila brush which is a number 10 on my eyebrows. That's how I get super defined eyebrows and I really really like that. Uh, next product is something that I've been wanting to try for a really long time now but we just don't do it in the UK and um, for some reason I don't know why we don't do it because we do the foundation version of this product. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and what I like about this is that it's really fun to apply, Like the, it has like a sponge tip applicator which I know is not the most hygienic thing ever but I just dot it under the eyes and I just blend it um, either with my fingers or I blend it with this Sigma brush here which is a Sigma P84 which is like a precision kabuki brush. So yeah I really like this, I'm in the colour light um, which is to be honest it's not that light, it's very yellow, yellow and orangey toned. So I can get away with this when I've got a bit of self tanner on like I have now. But yeah, I've got this on today and I really like it. Uh, next product, which I absolutely adore. Um, I've been wearing it every single day since I had it. Um, and I've also got a review on it as well. And um, if you want to go and check that out. Um, and this product is by Rouge Bunny Rouge. And it's their bronzer. And it's called At Gold Comb Bay. And what I like about it is that it's a super natural colour. It's not a heavy bronzer. It's not a contouring bronzer. Well, I guess you could contour with it. But it would be very, you know, light. And this is what the colour looks like. I've actually got it all over all over my face today, um, forehead, cheeks, but I haven't really done like a heavy contour, I've just done it really naturally. But yeah, I found myself using this pretty much every single day if I just want a really quick sweep of colour. And as you can see, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I believe they do two shades in this. Um, it's called the Bronzing Glow Powder, um, but the Gold Cone Bay is really, really nice if you're my skin tone. Um, I've also been getting kind of oily, um, I don't know why to be honest, I don't know whether my moisturiser is making me more oily or it's the weather because it's a lot hotter than the UK, but I have been setting my makeup with this Soap and Glory, it's called One Heck of a Blot, I know they have really weird names, but yeah, this is a super translucent mattifying powder, um, it's basically just a, kind of like the HD Makeup Forever powder, but it's in pressed form, you can just blot this over your face and it will just mattify it and it stays all day, it doesn't look cakey. The only problem that I have with translucent powder is that it can sort of age your skin slightly, it can make you look a little bit older than you are, but uh, if you want matte skin this is the thing to go for and yeah I'm a big fan of the Soap and Glory makeup products, I just think they're really deliver and they're not overpriced in any way. So yeah I really like that. Uh, Favourite brush of the month is something that I've been using every single day. This is the Palladium Tools 980 and I've been using this with the bronzer, I've been using this with the um, translucent powder and it's just got the most beautiful bristles, um, obviously they're natural and it's got a really long handle so you know you can really buff in or you can do like really controlled applications, you can even squeeze it to get like a contour but I've got I've got separate brushes to do that with but you could if you wanted to but I just think it's one of those brushes that everyone should have in their kit and it's just a really really nice brush that's not overpriced like I said um so to be honest I've been doing like a lot of pampering a lot of facial masks and stuff because I've got a lot of time on my hands since I don't start my job until tomorrow but yeah um so I'll be doing a lot of face masks and I remember these face masks that I got sent and they're from, it's actually a Greek brand called uh, Apivita, Apivita. This is what the packaging looks like and I got a couple of samples and diff with different ones. I believe they do about eight different types. Um, you've got exfoliating, moisturising, um, 
brightening, soothing, um, revitalizing, and they all have different ingredients. Um, I did have other ones. I had the aloe vera one, which, which I used yesterday, and that was amazing. Like, it's just the most intense surge of moisture. You can actually feel the moisture going into the skin. And when you take it off, you can still feel the moisture and it just, the effects last for a long time. And it makes it super nice when you apply your makeup. This isn't my favourite one, but this is the one I had left so I could show you. This is the Express Gold Royal Jelly. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Royal Jelly. I just don't like the smell of it. But yeah, this is the Firming um, and Regenerating Mask. And if you're going to buy this, don't buy it from Sephora because I was going to get a refill of, refill of them from Sephora. They were $40. I went on this other website called dermstore.com and they were like $30. And you can get them in a pack of 12, which is kind of sad because I really wish they sold them individually because especially with masks, you don't want to like buy a whole bunch unless you know you really love them. Sometimes you want to try each one and you know, especially for events or if you're going out, you just want to try one just for the heck of it. Okay, so hair products, I picked this up before I came to the US um, on a salon, on that website that I go on, I've mentioned before, Salon Direct, just where you can get discount on salon products if you're a hairdresser, well my sister's a hairdresser so I can get discount, and this, this is the S Factor Tiggy Dream Drops Shine On, and this is kind of like an all-in-one product, you can use it on wet hair, you can use it on dry hair, I use it on wet hair after I get out of the shower, and it just protects from heat but it also gives it a really smooth look regardless of whether you're doing a curly look that day or you're doing a straight look so this has been something that I've really been using a lot um, it's a really nice product and it smells it smells amazing it smells like strawberry milkshake it's amazing if you've used the shampoo before it smells exactly the same okay so I was looking through a law magazine and you're so lucky if you live in the US, like obviously I live in the US now, but you have the most amazing selection of gossip magazines and beauty magazines. I mean, you can get a law in the UK, but you'd have to go London, you have to go to Selfridges, or you'd have to get it ordered as a subscription. But um, yeah, I picked it up the other day and they were talking about the best products. Um, I think it was the Beauty Awards or Beauty Genius Awards, and they, uh, this nail technician mentioned the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. It looks like this. And it can be also be used on calluses, um, hard skin on your feet basically. And I have had a little bit of hard skin and I used it the other day. And what you do is you just put it on and leave it for like, how long is it? You leave it on for a minute and just wash it away, it just dissolves the dead skin. Uh, same thing with your cuticles, but you put it on for 15 seconds and then you push back your cuticles um, with whatever tool you want to use. And I can honestly say, it's the one of the most effective cuticle removers I've ever used. Normally, you know, you have to really sort of be quite kind of rough with your cuticles and to get them off, what well, I do anyway. But, you know, when I use this, all I had to do is push them off and they literally came off. Um, and they look really nice at the moment, to be honest. So I really, really like that and I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, while I was in Target, I was looking for a self-tanner because I didn't actually bring a self-tanner with me. And I feel like everyone here has got a really nice tan going on and I just look pale. So I picked up the Banana Boat Summer Colour Self Tanning Lotion and this is the deep dark colour and I like deeper colours because you have to apply them less often and also I just find that when someone, when packaging or whatever companies say something's light it really doesn't show up on me, I don't know what it is but it just tends to fade quickly so I got the deep dark colour and I believe this is the only colour. It says it adjusts to your own colour but I really don't believe any of that stuff. And it says it's streak free. Well, I can tell you this, it, it isn't streak free. It can streak if you're not careful, but it does have a guide color to it. So that can help you. I think this is about $8 or something, but I've just recently bought another one because I really, really like it. It's kind of creamy, really moisturizing. Great if you've got dry skin. Now, when I was traveling, obviously when I came over here, I was like really into packing up my skincare and everything. Um, for the plane ride I just get really excited like I kind of think of it as my own time to have a spa like every other beauty guru says anyway um so I picked up this um Evian spring water spray now I'm not gonna lie all it is is water in a can with the mist um and yes it probably is overpriced for what it is but it's just so refreshing to have this because it really locks in the moisture. You can feel your skin getting dry by the minute when you're on a plane. So it's really good to slather your face with, you know, moisturizers, oils, whatever you like. But every time I felt tired, I would spray this on. It would instantly wake me up as well as getting, you know, before I landed. I sprayed a bit of this and I felt amazing after. 
before I came to the US, I picked up this Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. Um, after, um, what's her name? Sorry, I'm really bad at remembering YouTube names. Her name's Ray Viewer. Her name's Ray, but she calls her channel Ray Viewer because it's kind of a play on words. Anyway, I'll link her channel below. So she always talks about these, and I really want to pick them up. Yeah, they're extremely expensive, but I just love luxury makeup. I love the packaging and you know, everything like that. So this is the colour. I have no idea what colour is this. It says 29 here, but you should be able to see. It's like a pinky colour with silver specks. And I was actually wearing this in my last video where I had like the sandwich eye going on where I had the lighter highlight colour in the middle and the two dark on the outer side. This is the product that I was wearing and it's super pretty if you like luxury makeup. Um, it's like a pressed pigment really. And to be honest it's no different from any other L'Oreal infallible um, paint car, any sort of thing like that. It's not extremely different, but it's just nice to own something like this. I mean, I feel like when you spend a bit more money on your makeup, you appreciate it so much more and you really feel good when you wear it. I don't know whether that's just marketing, but that's how I feel anyway. Uh, last couple of things. So I keep saying last thing, but it really never ends. This is the uh, Cetaphil moisturizer, and I actually picked up the wrong one because I just wanted a simple, no hassle, fragrance-free moisturizer for the daytime. Because I tend to spend more money on night moisturizers or serums rather than mo rather than daytime moisturizers. And um, this is meant to be for your body, but I think you can use it on your face as well. I've looked up on the internet and I've had mixed reviews saying you can't use it on your face or you can. I really don't know. Anyway, I really like this. It's kind of a little bit too greasy for me since my skin has gone a tiny bit more oily now. Um, but it is really good if you've got dry skin. You can also use it on your body. I tend to use it on my knees before I self-tan so the uh, self-tanner doesn't cling to those spots. But yeah, I really recommend this brand for simple, you know, no hassle skincare. Now I've just got this product here for my UK people out there and um, this is um, the Accessorise Blusher and they have a makeup line, they actually um, sell accessories um, if you don't know already but yeah this is the colour Scandal and this reminds me of Max old collection, is it Meteorites and it's just a beautiful beautiful blush with highlight in it, it's like a two in one basically, I have it on now, I really recommend this, I really like it and it's super pretty. So yeah, that's all I've got to talk about. Um, one last thing actually, I just wanted to mention a couple of non-beauty favourites. I don't have all of them with me now, but I just want to say the Swifter, or is it Swiffer? Swiffer. Swiffer is amazing. Like if you're like a housewife or if you like clean your own apartment, which I'm sure you do, um, the Swiffer is like amazing. You can get like different attachments to it. You can get a dust one and you actually think your floor's clean and then you use it and you look at the bottom of it and you get like disgusted. So yeah, I recommend that if you like to clean and stuff, because I've been into that. And I also got a phone to contact people with. Um, this is the new Google phone, the Google Nexus, and I really recommend it. If you kind of like the iPhone, you're really into smartphones, you want something to do, or the social media, you want the Instagram, the Twitter, this is the phone for you. And as you can see, I've got a really cute background at the moment. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've got any video responses or if you've got your own favourites video you want to link down below, uh, make sure to do so. And also, um, follow me on Keek. I don't have that many um, videos at the moment. Let me just have a look. What's my username? Sorry, this might take me a while. Uh, my profile. Okay, my username is Super Sugar Bubble, which is the same as my everything out there I guess so yeah follow me on there if you have it and um, Keek is kind of addictive I know it's only like 34 36 second videos but it's really cool and there's a lot of makeup people on there if you like to follow that sort of thing so yeah I uh, hope you have a nice day or evening I'll see you soon bye if you're looking for a new eyebrow product and you like super defined brows you like using um, brow products with a brush um, I definitely recommend this it's only three dollars and it's really really similar to benefits browsings and benefits brow okay calm down what are you doing it just gives a little bit of sheen but it also gives a color oh shit hi hey who are you talking to Oh man, no camera. Oh shit, I'm sorry. No, you did it again, it's alright, I knew you were coming. Oh, yeah, um, so the stuff you need is soapy contact net for six hours. It's best to do it overnight. Who said that? So it's on package. Oh. You have them in now? No, I have one in. Can you, can you see? No, I need to do this quickly before the sun messes okay, up. Okay, alright, alright. Ah, 
Sit on my bed. I'm going to. I'm, just, I'm setting stuff down. I got you some eye drops as well. You should put those in before you put your contacts in the morning. What are you doing now? Put these cords away. No. 